Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Philanthropone, and I am back once again, this time to give my top three favorite HTC Vive games to release in March and April of 2018. So as you may have been able to tell from reading the title that for the first time ever, I'm combining two months together for this video for a number of reasons. First, I upgraded my PC in early March where I reformatted my hard drive and that slowed down my progress for playing games. And I also experimented doing some VR news videos and to be frank, there just weren't a ton of good games that released during these last two months. I have two honorable mentions and those games are Apex Construct and Combat Tested. So without further ado, here are my top three favorite HTC Vive games to release in March and April of 2018. Number 3, Guiding Hand. This game released way back in March, but I definitely haven't forgotten about it. Upon recently checking its Steam page, I was shocked to find out that there were only 4 total reviews for the game. They were all positive of course, but I thought the game would have gotten a lot more attention by now. Guiding Hand is the closest I've ever felt in VR to having an Age of Empires 2 like economy where you're down on ground level with your workers and giving them commands. The closest VR game prior to this was probably Cosmic Trip, but that game felt a little bit more like StarCraft where your workers aren't actually traveling long distances, whereas in Guiding Hand they are and do it pretty darn well. What I mean by that is that the game works and your workers never really seem to bug out or get stuck or do something that you didn't tell them to do. And as you get deeper into the game you are able to create more workers and grow your population, which is obviously important as having more workers means more wood and stone to collect, and it's just a really cool feeling to start off from scratch and build an entire village with a thriving economy. So where's the challenge you might ask? At night, wolves come out and you have to defend your precious town with a bow and arrow that you summon from your workstation. The one slightly negative thing I will say about the game is that I feel like the wolves are a bit overpowered and it's quite easy for them to destroy an entire town in a matter of seconds if you're not quick to react with your bow. So while I love the game, there are a few things that need a bit of tweaking and are keeping it from becoming an amazing experience. And I also think the resource requirements for building archery towers are way too steep in my opinion, but I still love the game and can easily recommend checking it out. Number 2, Bam Squad. Bam Squad is a shooter that can be played in single player or online co-op and what I think has very fun and addictive gameplay. I use the word addictive because there is something about the upgrade system that just really appeals to me. There are a ton of different guns in the game, all of which can be upgraded using rubies you earn as you play. Each weapon can be upgraded a number of times before maxing it out completely, and each time you upgrade will cost more and more rubies. A standard shooter like this would get old very fast if all you were doing were shooting zombies, but it's the upgrade system that offers a lot of replayability as you inch your way further and further into the level as you get stronger. Furthermore, you level up during each new game you play where you earn ability points that can be allocated into a number of passive abilities for your character, such as increased headshot damage, number of hit points, or amounts of coins you collect as you level. It's all of these really cool features that make it feel like you're getting stronger and stronger the more you play and almost gives it an RPG-like feel. Throw in co-op multiplayer and you have yourselves a winner in my book. And number one, The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim VR. This one probably comes as no surprise, Skyrim VR is the best open world VR game out there should you exclude Fallout 4 VR that came before it, which I'm sure many people do considering the game is now available to HTC Vive, Oculus Rift, and Windows Mixed Reality owners, unlike Fallout 4 VR that was released exclusively on the HTC Vive. The game currently holds an 86% positive review average on Steam and had a much, much smoother launch than Fallout 4 VR did, and while the visuals are a bit dated, thankfully the mod scene is alive and well when it comes to Skyrim VR, where there are some mods that are able to make some pretty significant improvements as far as visuals and gameplay go. However, I will note that I personally noticed some poor performance when maxing out the graphics options and using a Vive Pro, as well as having 
many mods installed. Just a disclaimer. I will also say that I was somewhat hesitant to give this my number one spot because of the user interface and menu system because it is very clunky and tedious scrolling through huge lists of items but I feel like the trade-off was worth it when it comes to gameplay. The game offers pretty much all of the same content that the desktop version does but can be experienced entirely in virtual reality and I will say using melee weapons isn't the best experience as it feels like you're swinging swords that weigh as much as a feather and swing strength has no effect on the overall damage you do. But using a bow and arrow or magic is a whole nother story and I would recommend going down that route if you are new to the game. As mentioned before, the game has an 86% positive review average on Steam and currently goes for the hefty price tag of $59.99. And there you have it guys, my top 3 favorite HTC Vive games to release in March and April of 2018. As always guys, I'd appreciate it if you liked the video and let me know in the comments what your favorite Vive games were for March and April. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want to know what my favorite Vive games are every month as well. So that's all for this one, thank you so much for watching as always, until next time, peace.